So Chris, um, having made the step through the church um, in the last couple of years, um, how has that changed your life? Has it been a positive experience for you generally? Um, what things have happened to you as a result of, of making that quite big step in your life? Well, I think for me personally, it's been a, a massive um, change, but, but all for the positive one of the greatest things for me is to actually be in a congregation now, um, in a place where I feel at home, where there are like-minded people um, of faith who I can talk to about my faith and my thoughts. And I, I don't just mean you, Rob, as the vicar. And that has been a massive change but beforehand I was ashamed I'm almost embarrassed to talk about being a Christian and what Jesus has done in my life but now I know that I have a place where I can come and talk to people about it but actually past that now I no longer have that shame and I'm quite happy to talk to anybody about it who has questions or even can't understand why um, I'm a Christian. So before, did you have to, did you feel like you, it was there, but you couldn't really talk about it? Is that your... It's exactly, um, there was nobody really who I could talk to about my faith and my beliefs. And actually, it, my questions which I had um, and hang-ups on part of the Christian faith, not understanding why there were certain things and rituals... Um, I now realise it's just something that really I managed to get myself tangled up in knots about and actually the bearing on it for me um, it wasn't as important as actually growing my relationship with God so that had been a stumbling block for me so yeah I'm a, I'm a lot more a lot more settled it's allowed me to let go of a lot of things um, in my life it's allowed me to stop um, trying to control everything not that I realised I was trying to control everything but actually when you hand things over um, to God to deal with them rather than trying to make it happen yourself your life becomes a lot easier you stop wanting the things that perhaps you didn't actually need in the first place and it's been just a great blessing but it also has brought me into service it's shown areas in my life where I can actually help others um, you know setting up helping to lead the Noah's Ark um, team our parents and toddlers group um, my wife and I uh, had tried to have children for a number of years and, it, and it, it didn't happen for us but now coming into Noah's Ark and, and leading the group it's just changed me hugely you know it's helped to start heal my heart
So, uh, Phil, I know for a lot of people, making that step into church can be a challenge because, especially if if the spouse or partner uh, doesn't feel like they share the same belief structure. So, lots of people today may have questions in themselves about God and feel that they have a faith but their partner is quite strongly agnostic or atheist and, and they feel that coming to church might somehow put a barrier in that relationship. Um, I know that you had some of those concerns, so having now made that step, has that been positive or negative for your relationship? I found it to be very positive um, on a couple of fronts, actually, from the f- from the... F- the main front um, really is it, it actually allowed me to live my faith. It allowed me to step out and actually start talking about my faith and actually um, experiencing it. And that in itself has been brilliant. But also what I've learned is actually the church is there a, a, as a family and actually it, it's drawn Karen into um, the church family. Uh, I can talk to Karen about my faith now. Um, she st- she started to understand um, why it's so important to me. She's actually started to help out um, at various um, things, which has just been brilliant. And I would say that rather than put a barrier between us, it's actually drawn us closer together. Because for me to actually live it, I no longer feel that I'm being stopped in my faith, stop it from, from it being stopping to grow. So, is there a sense that you, you, you now feel you can be your true self? It's completely. Um, I'm starting to live the life that I think um, I've always wanted to 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 live. A life um, where family is very important to me. I have a second church family now, um, a really good support network some beautiful people in our congregation who are there to support you. Um, It's brought Karen closer to the church as well. But but she doesn't feel that that's being pushed on her, does she? Um, No, not at all. It's actually one of the the biggest surprises that I've had is that Karen has actually started to want to get involved. And when I say involved, I, I don't actually automatically mean she comes to church, but she helps out at church fates. She um, will come to the cafe and make coffee and, and, and help out when she can. She will start coming to services now, but for services, um, you know, some at Christmas and, and Easter and that type of thing. And she's supporting me. And even though she doesn't, she would say she doesn't have faith herself, has she felt a part of the community nonetheless? Has, has, has she ever felt that because she doesn't have a faith that stops her from getting involved or, or, or has she felt that the church community has been open enough to accept her irrelevant to her well, position? I certainly think that's one of the, the main strengths of our church in Geddington, the fact that actually there is no judge, judgmental um, attitudes and actually quite a lot of our congregation are very open and welcoming and loving and that has helped Karen feel part of the community. And she does, she, you know, she is confident now. She does know more people. She's beginning to meet more people from church and, and realise actually, do you know what? We're just normal people. This thought that, you know, you step through the church door and suddenly we're jumping on you and saying, have you, have we, have you found Jesus? And, you know, it, it's, um, it's not what we do. We are a loving and accepting and gentle um, church and community. And we welcome everybody into our community. And I think that's one of the strengths of our church.
Obviously, Chris, from your perspective, um, since you first joined us and have been such a committed member of the church, uh, which is to your credit, really, what's your perception of, of how the congregation has developed or changed or matured? Well, I think we're very blessed, actually, at the church. We do have a, a very mixed um, demographic and what I have noticed over the last couple of years is we've had um, a lot of new people who've come to our church and they um, vary from, uh, from those who have just retired, um, those who are in their middle ages and um, we've had quite a lot of um, young families and children um, starting to join and I do think that's uh, due to the fact that we've worked really, really hard on our, on our welcoming and making people feel at home. And that's just um, really paying off for us. We are getting an, an awful lot of new you know, young families and children, which we especially welcome. Um, and actually, it's really lovely to see them um, in the church, running around and, and being there um, in the main body of the service. And I think we've worked quite hard um, on that to actually make the welcome really good for our, our parents and, and children. They've got a lovely children's area where they can play if, um, if they want to. And it's really sort of helped to bring you know, a real enjoyment and, and, and happiness within the church. And I think an awful lot of our congregation now love having, well, they do love having them about. Uh, we have quite a lot. We do have a few, a few of our elderly um, church members who are absolutely brilliant. We'll spend a lot of time with you, and you can talk to them, and they they'll talk to you about um, how the church has sort of changed over the years, and how long they've been here, and how worship has changed. And there's just such a, a good feeling of community, and you know the church has been here for thousands of years, and to actually you get the sense of that when you come through the doors. I mean, it's a beautiful building and the feeling of, um, you know, a, a, an age that people have been here to worship for a very long time. It's just, it really does help to make the experience for me very deep and, and spiritual. Yeah.